In this video, I'm going to go over the fmod function in C, which allows us to do the modulus operation, but with double values instead. So the modulus operation works like this. If I say int x is equal to 5 modulus 2, modulus is going to return the remainder of 5 divided by 2. So I can say here x percent d slash n will, will output x, and we expect it to be 1, right? Because 5 divided by 2, 2 is going to go into 5 twice, and we're going to have 1 left over. So we'd expect a remainder of 1, right? And that's what we get here. x is 1. Now this modulus operator will only work with int values. It won't work with doubles. That's where fmod can help us. So if I include math.h, that's the library where fmod is defined. And math.h comes with C, so you're always gonna have access to it. We can use fmod to get the remainder of dividing one double value by another. So if I were to say here, double numerator is equal to, let's say 10, and double denominator is say, let's equal to three, and then we do a division with these using fmod. We'll say double result is equal to fmod numerator denominator. So we're gonna give the numerator as the first argument, the denominator as the second argument, and fmod is gonna return the remainder of when the numerator is divided by the denominator. So if we print out the result, we expect to get back one in this case because three is gonna go into 10 three times. There's gonna be one left over. We run it here, we get a result of 1.000 and on and on with the zeros. And now what we can do is we can actually use fractional numbers now. So I could say something like this. I could say like 10.4 divided by three. And now if I do a recompilation run it, I get 1.4 here. And that makes sense because that is the remainder, right? Like three is gonna go into 10.4 three times and then we're getting back the remainder. But this time it's got this fractional component here, which just, is kind of cool because we can now do this with double values too. And this could be itself some kind of real number with a fractional component too. So I could say something like 3.9 here. And then if I do a recompilation and run it, we get back 2.6, right? And that makes sense because 3.9, you know, that's going to be 7.8 if you multiply it by two. And that's going to be how many times, you know, the, the 3.9 number is going to go into 10.4 is twice, right? And if you look at that, you know, 10.4 minus 7.8, we're going to get 2.6 as our remainder, right? And so that makes sense as well. And it's just kind of cool that we can now do the modulus operation with double values. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.